everybody, welcome back to my channel. For those who don't know me, my name is Bailey and today we are at Epcot. Today is my first day at Festival of the Arts. I have never been to this festival, so I'm super excited to do all the festival things. Today I am actually with my husband Christian. Today is our 10 year anniversary. He has actually never been to this festival as well. This is only the second time he has ever been to a Epcot festival, so I'm super stoked. So let's go meet him. Hello. Ready to fart. Oh gosh. <laughs> First we must grab our festival passport. Before we start doing festival things, we have a boarding group for Cosmic Rewind. We are boarding group number 26 and it's being called in about 10 minutes. So we're gonna go to Connections, just look around. So we're gonna go do that, save the galaxy, and then start doing some festival things. Some of the walls are down and this is <laughs> Absolutely crazy. This is my first time seeing it. It just looks so much more open. Wow. I can't wait to go look around and like sit around in there and go see the Walt statue over there. I believe it's over on that side. Our boarding group just got called. What song are you hoping to get? Um, anything but I ran. Me too. I just want something different. I've gotten to September, I ran, and one way or another. And so far it's September one way or another, and then I ran. But I'm hoping for Everybody Wants to Rule the World because that's my all-time favorite song. I know it's not the most loved song, but something new. Time to save the galaxy. Welcome, Epcot Terrence. What? How? Why didn't we figure that? That thing's gotta be worth a fortune. I am Groot. Good question. Yeah, who do you think took it? Perhaps that really big man outside your ship got off of Guardian. That was the quickest line I've ever been through. I think the whole process took like, what, 20 minutes, if that? Maybe. It was we empty. Basically just walked on. We walked on to the free show. But we got One Way or Another. That is a new song for Christian. I've gotten that song before, but I love that one. That's one of my favorites, so I was more than happy with it. We're gonna go get the Figment Scavenger Hunt from Creations. Um, so we can do it while we walk around the World Showcase. We're gonna take a look at the festival merch. I really like this t-shirt, but I just don't like the fit of it. I want slash need this shirt. It is a pass holder only shirt, but they don't have it my size. They only have smalls right now. I really, really like this mug, but I don't like the shape of it and I don't like this, the purple paint. So I'm gonna have to pass on that one. There's pigment munchlings. Lots and lots and lots of pigment munchlings. Ooh, that smells really good. It kind of smells like... It smells like cotton candy. I know it's blueberry, but... It smells like cotton candy to me. It smells like straight sugar. <laughs> I think I might need these. I love these. I think, honestly, I, I really do think I might end up getting these. I go really good with my outfit today, too. And the rest of my... Uh, festival outfits. Okay, so we just got the Figment scavenger hunt and then we already just picked up our prize because I know Figment is the it guy and everybody wants him all the time and I want Figment so we just went ahead and got the prize. We are slowly, very slowly making our way over to Soarin' Over California because it's such a low weight um, and Moana but we're gonna look at the chalk art real quick. paint by numbers. I think it opens at 11, that's why nobody's here. But I think this is the figment one. We took a long way to this side of the park because we were looking at the chalk art and all that stuff, but Soarin' Over California jumped to a super high wait time. So we're gonna go to Journey of Water and this is Christian's first time. He also really loves Moana. He won't admit it though. Wave. 
into the land to ride Soarin' Over California. Once again, this is Christian's first time riding Soarin' Over California, so I'm super stoked. I have a theory that he's gonna like this one better than Soarin' Around the World. As I predicted, he said that he liked Soarin' Over California way better than Soarin' Around the World. What was your favorite part or smell? Uh, I liked, I think it was like a lemon orchard. The orange groves? Yeah. It, That's like the iconic. Yeah, I like that one a lot. Sort over California smell. And then, um, yeah, hot air balloons too. The hot air balloons? Yeah. I thought you were going to like the part, the ship. Yeah, that was cool. Um, did you like the, the night driving traffic? No. That, that's what, that makes me really, really nauseous. That's, I mean, I don't really have the, like the nostalgia to that ride but my favorite part is, I like the beach. I feel like it's just very peaceful. Yeah. And then the um, dizzy looking part. I'm glad you got to experience it. Yeah. We've done, this whole day is like, Christian's first time doing everything. <laughs> we got green and like gray. Which one are you doing? I'll do gray. Gray? I'll do green. <laughs> Number eight. <laughs> Thank you. Ooh, it is a favorite one. This is what it's supposed to look like. I definitely did that part right there. Our first booth is Pop Eats. Christian got the pimento grilled cheese and tomato soup. Is that what it's called? Yeah. It's it looks really got, uh, good. Fried green tomato and bacon in there, I think, too. Ooh, that looks really good. It tastes really good. Ooh, that smells really good. I wish I could have it. This is like the one thing that I really wish I could eat. Really? Put a little just, soup on there. You just dip it. I think it'd fall apart. For those who don't know, I don't eat gluten or dairy, and I'm not drinking right now. <laughs> so I'm very limited <laughs> to what I can eat this festival. See, so far really good. What do you rate this? Oh man. Out of, let's do, <laughs> out of rainbows. Five. Out, of five, out of five rainbows. <laughs> um, probably a four. A four? The tomato soup was really good and creamy. I think they could have used, I don't know, maybe a little bit of pepper or something. Um, really good. Uh, and then the grilled cheese is awesome. Maybe a little bit too yeah. buttery, but it is grilled cheese, so it is a uh, comfort food. To Mexico? Yep. Let's go. It is so empty. There are like 10 empty tables around me at the very front of World Showcase, which is very unheard of. But the weather's incredible. It's starting to get a little bit warm, but so we're actually skipping Mexico. I don't know what the first thing that we're gonna eat together or what I'm gonna eat is. Um, we have a list on our phone, but um, we're just gonna see where it takes us. But we are starting to look at the art. There's this man behind me tearing it up on the guitar. But um, yeah, and then we also are doing our figment scavenger hunt as well. Um, so we need to look out for those too. I love this one. Oh, this one's so cute. All the figment art. I love it. Oh, I love the Walt one right there. Wait a second. Who is this? Oh my gosh, that's awesome. I love this. Oh, this is so funny. I love Miss Piggy. We are on the hunt for the figment art. Look, there's Dante, and then there's Dante. <laughs> We're on the hunt for the figment art, and we just like coming in here and looking around, and maybe ride Grand Fiesta Tour. What was that? Maybe ride Grand Fiesta Tour. Shoot, might as well since we're here. <laughs> Okay, 
well, we didn't find him in Mexico, but we're in Norway. Also, Frozen Ever After is shut down all day for some reason, I don't know. Um, but even like with that being closed down, the wait times are still very, very good right now. There he is, Mr. Thor. Isn't that crazy? And then Thor and Loki. Okay, well, um, we didn't find him in Norway either. This is truly the hardest scavenger hunt I've ever done. I thought Spike the Bee was gonna be hard, but this one's pretty hard. Especially because there's so many booths right now and everything is so like, you know? It's, it's kind of hard to, to find it, but it's of course gonna be like just right in front of our face when we do find it. Yeah, we gotta have to bring it back the other day. We'll, we'll try China and see. One thing I really do like about the scavenger hunts is that it makes you go into each pavilion and explore all the pavilions, especially this one, because I feel like we went everywhere in Mexico and everywhere in Norway and we have not seen one sign of pigment. Our first one, there he is. I think we should do whoever finds it gets to put the sticker <laughs> on the, the palette. That one. I think we should do that. Whoever finds it gets to put it on the palette. Do you agree? Yeah, I agree. We make this a competition since apparently this is the hardest thing we've ever done in our whole entire lives. There's Figment. I think he's eating a bow bun. That's gonna be us in a couple. Or I'm sorry, that's gonna be you in a little bit. It's okay. Let me see. China. Our first one, probably our only one. <laughs> Christian got the braised beef from Pastoral Palette in Germany. I believe this is gluten free. I think there is a little bit of dairy. I might be getting it confused with something else. Um, I will put it right here if it is completely dairy free, but I'm taking a little bite. Portion of puree. Okay, then that's probably where the dairy is if there is dairy. Yeah. So I'm just gonna take a bite out of the rib. Wow, that's falling Super apart. Tender. Yeah. Ooh, that's good. Is it? Mm -hmm. Excited to try it. It's very salty. Is it? Yeah, but it's really good. We got a wobbly table. Oh, it's really good. It is really good. Very tender. It's super salty. I'll take this. Mmm. Very much tastes like a roast. I will give it a. 4.5 out of 5. What do you rate it? Out of 5? It'd be like a 3.5. The meat's good, but very salty. It is very salty. Actually, I'll give it a 4 out of 5. Some bites are salty, some are not. But when it's salty, it's very salty. We gotta check out the little tiny Festival of the Arts flags. They too are celebrating. Especially her. So we made it all the way to America. We still have yet to find another figment painting. We are gonna stop in Japan. Um, right now Christian is getting a beer from the artist table. And we're gonna sit down for a second, go to Japan, grab one more thing, and then we're going to only do one half of the World Showcase. We have late night hours at Magic Kingdom tonight, so we're cutting our Epcot day a little bit short today, um, just so we can rest and whatnot before we're at Magic Kingdom until midnight. Can I share with the class what you got? I got the Wicked Weed IPA. Can I smell it? Yeah. Ooh, that smells good. I probably wouldn't like it though. Oh yeah, there's that hemp flavor. That... Interesting. Yeah. Weird. Is it weird? It's yeah, it's good. I mean, it's like it's definitely there, but it's um, not overpowering. What do you rate it? Um, I'd get another one. Probably a three out of five. Not bad, not bad. Still no figments though. Nope. We're gonna look in one more area and then go to Japan, and then we're gonna stop at Japan. <laughs> Found it. I knew it was gonna be in Boom, two done. How many have you found? 
It's okay, I've only found two. <laughs> we got the sushi donut. I'm super excited about this. Okay, so there's cucumber, tuna, salmon, and is that crab? Uh, shrimp. Shrimp? Crab. shrimp, that's what I meant. Okay, so we'll try the shrimp first. Okay, cheers. Cheers. That's not cheersing. <laughs> Mm. I, I, tried this, I tried this dark sauce. This is the. I think this is the same. Salmon. Cheers. 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 Mm. So far, I'm liking the shrimp. That's. That one's good. Say. That one was good, but I like the the shrimp a lot better. This looks like tuna. Cheers. Cheers. Oh god. Sauce. Oh no, my phone. <laughs> oh. What is that? I don't know. Didn't like it all that much. Yeah, that one's. I don't know what that is, but it's not my favorite so far. Cheers. Mmm. That's very refreshing. I'll give that a 3.5 out of 5. I really like the, the shrimp, shrimp part. Good. Shrimp and I like it. The way we tried it is my favorite, Tilly's favorite, for sure. Really? I think yeah. I like what we thought was the tuna at least. Might yeah. not be tuna. I don't know. Yeah, shrimp was my favorite. I would get it again. I'd definitely share it, for sure. Yeah, for sure. If I wouldn't get it. <laughs> this is definitely my favorite so far. I love him. We are not getting anything here, but we are going through Figment's inspiration station. You know, as a Muppet girl and a Figment girl, I think this is cute, but I prefer the Muppets. The last thing we're gonna get today is Joffrey's. I got the Pistachio Palette Cold Brew. Um, it usually comes with whipped cream and sprinkles, but I got it with no whipped cream and almond milk, so let's see how it tastes. Hmm. I don't know if I like this or not. I've just never had a pistachio, like, flavored drink before. So I don't know if I like that part or not. That is it for today's Festival of the Arts video. If you guys like this video, please make sure to like and subscribe and keep an eye out for the second part to this video, our second day of Festival of the Arts. Um, we are done vlogging today. We are going to enjoy the rest of our anniversary at Magic Kingdom tonight. Again, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see y'all real soon. Bye y'all.